The Central United States Earthquake Consortium, or CUSEC, is comprised of eight member states, those being Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Those eight comprise the states that would be most dramatically impacted from a seismic event along the New Madrid Seismic Zone. Uh, we do have other seismic uh, zones in the region that would have a, a more dramatic impact outside that area, such as the uh, Wabash Seismic Zone. Uh, we have the East Tennessee Seismic Zone, which also affects Georgia, North Carolina, Alabama, uh, and that corridor up along the Appalachian area. So uh, it's not just New Madrid that affects the central U.S. We have other seismic zones, each capable of producing large damaging earthquakes. Uh, the primary mission uh, for, for CUSEC is to really serve as a broker, to bring the right people to the table to address a hazard that we share commonly. Uh, that process is typically on the emergency management side, but to, to adequately address this, we have to reach out to our research community, make sure that their response plans and their uh, various research needs are, are brought to bear uh, so we're working in concert with each other. Uh, the ultimate goal is to understand the hazard and to incorporate that into our plans. And the only way to do that is to be working together in a cohesive way. Uh, CUSEC has four primary goal areas that we, we function under, those being public outreach and education, uh, trying to uh, increase the awareness that we actually have a seismic hazard here and the importance of that, uh, mitigation being the second primary goal, uh, trying to reduce the vulnerability of our communities throughout the eight-state area, but also uh, the response recovery planning that's necessary, and then the application of research. We want to take the research that's uh, produced at the uh, local, state, and national levels, whether they be research centers, the U.S. Geological Survey and others, and incorporate that into our plans. So those four goal areas make up the foundation for what we do as an organization. Some of the more notable mitigation efforts that have gone on in the central U.S. Uh, is the I-40 bridge, which links Tennessee to Arkansas at the uh, Memphis to West Memphis cities. Uh, an extension retrofit to look at base isolating that structure so that commerce can continue to move, response resources can move across the structures following a seismic event. Uh, other buildings, uh, buildings themselves, um, have been purposely built for um, earthquakes, such as the AutoZone headquarters here in Memphis, uh, which is based on uh, base isolation setup. Um, but we've also had a retrofit of existing buildings, which can be a, a more costly uh, undertaking. But again, uh, business owners are looking at their vulnerabilities and taking steps to reduce that vulnerability. So across the board, uh, from hospitals to private sector to public uh, infrastructure such as bridges. We've done a very good job of beginning to really reduce that vulnerability that we have here in the central U.S.